day fellow modelers. Today I have a video depicting the modifications I have made to my Hobby King Evios Super Tucano. I have added working ordnance drop Mall 5 store stations and a pan and tilt digital FPV of my own design. I have also enhanced the view inside the forward cockpit with some details of my own. Initially, I tried to cool the VTX and camera with a simple spoon scoop entrance on the right side of the canopy and an exit on the left side beyond the back seat. This proved to be inadequate in the warmer spring and summer days, so I added a little 12 volt 30 millimeter fan on top of the VTX. The pylons I designed for the model use my now standard servo key slot drop mechanism which until this model has not failed me. Early testing showed that the size and weight of the ordnance I was trying to carry was failing the stock servo arm. I replaced the OEM servo arm on the Power HD 1370A servo with a tougher one found on a high-tech HS55 servo. Here is a screenshot taken from a video camera mounted on the right wing tip of the snake eye being released from the centerline pylon and another showing a pair of Mark 82 low drag bombs being released from the outboard store stations 1 and 5. My first FPV flight was made with a completely stock canopy and cockpit arrangement, with the exception of the forward canopy bow. The main part of the canopy can be seen through quite well when looking out the side, but the thickness of the plastic and the low angle slope of the forward section creates quite a blurry view out the front. I also had a small passenger on the first flight. I removed the front plastic from the canopy and replaced it with a simple wrap of 0.5 millimeter PET G, which improved the visibility forward quite a bit. Here is a short video of that second flight. You can see that the visibility forward is significantly better with the new plastic up front. This video is how the model is currently, with a number of 3D printed details on the instrument panel. A new anti-glare panel, simulated HUD glass plates, and a pair of mirrors. The glass cockpit LCD decals came from the original one-piece decal provided with the model. However, I removed the decals scanned them at 1200 dpi and reprinted them on color glossy photo paper.
model flies quite well. With the exception of the large two-seat canopy, the proportions of this model remind me of precision aerobatic models of the 1970s. It tracks very well, is resistant to gusty conditions, stalls are straightforward and easily recovered, and is resistant to spins. It is a joy to land. Drop the flaps, pull the power back, aim at the threshold of the runway, and round out to a greaser landing. I hope you have fun with yours whether you choose to fly line of sight or FPV. Thanks for watching. More as it happens.